guy straight out of a mental institution claiming he was cured or healed. But it really did happen. I mean, there's, there's documents, there's witnesses. Do you believe it's Jesus? Sure. Who else could have done that? Well, if you think he's sane, then you think he really is Jesus. These people believe that he is Jesus Christ. Well, let's not forget, this is a tabloid, not a court case. We've seen stuff like that before. Yeah, true, but usually the establishment laughs it off. Not this guy. Establishment? Who is this guy? A teacher or something? No, he's in a mental hospital, honestly. With the middle of the desert and the Roman Empire being even worse than here? Would you believe that he was found down the road in a manger on some farm? Did the healed guy work there? No, he was a patient. But this time I have several people who will attest to a bona fide miracle. You've told me about him all my life. And now he's here? You doubt him? I taught you to believe in the real God, not a nut who thinks he is. But who says they're right? They misdiagnose people all the time. If that doesn't work, we can still bust them out. Do you think you can get them out? Oh, we'll get them out. They don't want to talk about it. They'd rather I just go away. There's like a quiet rage when they deny it. I've never seen anything like that. Well, this is a situation that will not take care of itself, nor will it get any better. What are you saying? I'm saying forget divine intervention, forget fate, and take destiny into our own hands. You weren't planning on doing something drastic, were you? The thought had crossed my mind. There is no punchline. It's like the second one.